what's going on. <laughs> the Lord's Prayer. Now, first of all, who's the Lord? Who is the Lord? L-O-W-E-R-E-D. What is the identification of this entity? Because this entity is running all around the dimension saying it's the Lord, and millions of people believe it's the Lord. So who is it? This Lord is actually the moon. Because the moon is the lowest celestial body to our planet, no, and that's why it's known as the Lord. And all of its symbols are related. That's why people, that's why people uh, look to the Lord for their sustenance because they look to the moon for their substance. The moon grows all the things here. The moon, when the moon is full, everything is going into vegetation. And they say also, since the moon is control of life, the moon may be also control of death. I Meaning the waning cycles, certain things show that they die. But they seem to be in the govern, they're being governed by this soul group called the moon. And when you look deep into the symbolism, you'll find out that the reason why they had this horn god, which was the god of the forest, and Bacchus and the horny revelry related to fertility, is exactly the same reason why they have the moon. And as Dan Winter points out, the moon actually is a vessel for all of the, the misshaped and... Uh, uh, actually, let me look right at the notes. I like to quote uh, properly, but what you find in the moon... Oh my goodness. My notes look crazy here. Okay, but basically what you're dealing with is the moon itself is holding or is a receptacle... I guess I didn't even write it down, but the moon itself is a receptacle for the DNA that has been utilized throughout this planet's history. And what they, are knowing, what they know as a, a, a horned Draco, which is what you see in Samaria, already is using the moon as a vessel in itself, the moon being a metallic object that can also emit energies to control the natures of individuals. And this is why when it comes into zoonorphication, it shows that the Sumerians have domesticated, the Sumerian lord domesticated all the animals. Th what it's really saying is, is that the Sumerian lords controlled the animal urges through the moon and when they populate and when they do different things. And so if you become physical or more based on a physical, because you're eating a lot of animals and you're going into these frequencies, then it's easy for them to be, control you from the moon because you're in that soul group. And this is why the moon, of course, again, horn god, deer, cow. It's really a specific kind of meat. And when you eat that, it gets in the body and it's dense. So you're controlled by the lowered because the lowered is more dense, Why the higher is more ethereal. So for those who are looking for relief in the reality like that's going to ever end, that is a key component to keeping re uh, realities like this generating. That's why you get the other symbol. This is the most powerful symbol, by the way, on the dimension as far as how it's being used. You find millions bowing down to this, these symbols. And this is why, because now you get the pentagram, which is phi, 72 degrees times phi, 360 degrees around the circle, aborting, staying in this one sphere known as, let's say, the moon. Okay, that particular state of mind and consciousness, soul group, etc. Now, it's also been proving here, if you go and do your research, that Mecca, which is, of course, the place that they circumambulate the cube itself, cube then being, again, a womb, the covenant is by salt. Salt exhibits the cube in its geometry, okay? And what you'll find is, is that this is actually the, um, the, phi, the first main phi point of earth. And even the, the, the uh, word Allah, Lu, actually means the center or the needle point or middle point of the cube. So you basically find that all of the worship in religion is delegated to the Lord and the Lord is the one managing all of those individuals because the people say not just in uh, the English language, but we'll use that in the Lord's Prayer. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not wander. Okay, that's a soul group. You're saying that this entity, whether it's an archangel, angel, archon, demigod, whatever, is your leader, and you're not going to wander away from that 
because he makes me lie down in green pastures. I think it continues from there. So it makes them do what it wants them to do, meaning causing fertility, keeping up with the same five base nature and never going beyond the moon, which is, again, the first step on the ladder. 